The latest Surface Pro 8 and Surface Laptop Studio have dropped the USB-A port altogether. Like the Surface Go and Pro X, the Surface Pro 8 and the Laptop Studio only have USB-C ports on board. Fortunately, USB-C is backwards compatible, so you don't need to throw away all of your old devices. In fact, USB-C is a lot more versatile than the old USB port. It does everything that the old port did, but it now offers much more through a smaller and reversible connection. USB-C has been around for a long time now, and Microsoft's move to remove USB-A from their devices tells you that it's time to get ready and get on board with it. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the USB-C accessories that will make your life easier with one of the new Surface devices. The first product that you'll definitely want in your kit is a USB-A to USB-C adapter. USB-C carries forward compatibility with all of your old USB devices. All you need is the right plug. So with this very inexpensive and small adapter, you can take all of your old devices with a USB-A connection and plug them into a USB-C port memory stick, hard drive, mouse, keyboard, camera, webcam, literally anything can be adapted using this simple adapter. It's an essential, and I'll leave a link to an example on Amazon in the video description, along with all of the products that we'll show. A company named Lention contacted us recently and offered us a $50 credit for some of their products to do videos about them. They have a lot of USB-C products, so we took them up on their offer and ordered a couple of USB-C adapters for this video. Then we ordered some more for ourselves on Amazon directly. The Lenchin product that I'm using a lot at the moment is a simple one, a USB-C to HDMI adapter. Many USB-C ports support sending display signals out, meaning that you can connect a monitor or a projector directly to the USB-C port. Some high-end monitors like my LG widescreen even have a USB-C input, so I can directly connect that USB-C port with a USB-C to C cable and the picture will come out on the display. However, most monitors and projectors don't have a USB-C input. Instead, I'm likely to find a display port, HDMI, or an old school VGA connection. In any of those cases, I'll need an adapter. Fortunately, Lenchin have some nice, inexpensive adapters like the USB-C to HDMI adapter that I've been using over the last couple of months. It's packaged well, it's good quality, and it worked very reliably. Again, I keep one of these in my travel bag alongside of a USB-C to VGA adapter just in case. Be aware that not every USB-C port supports display out, and it's handy to know that all of the USB-C ports on all of the current Surface devices do support display out. They actually output a display port signal over USB-C. So you can use these adapters on your Surface if it has a USB-C port. What's cool about USB-C is that I could also use these adapters with my Samsung Galaxy Note, my Surface Duo 2, and most other Android phones made in the last five years because they all support USB-C. So I can actually mirror my phone to an external TV or projector or a display using this very same adapter. Oddly, even Macs and iPads also have USB-C and work with this adapter, just not iPhones. Can you believe that they're still using the lightning connector? Yuck, ugh. Now doing video work and a little bit of hobby photography, I deal with a lot of memory cards. My camera takes a full size SD card. My GoPro uses a micro SD card. So I looked for some USB-C card readers and I found a couple on Amazon from Lenchin and Ugreen that'll fit the bill. The first one that I got was a small USB-C to micro SD card reader that could attach to your keyring or lanyard. It's metal, compact and simple and it works really well. Lenchin also have a USB-C memory card reader that supports both micro and full size SD cards in a nice compact package. Very easy to include in your travel kit or your camera bag. I picked up one more adapter for this purpose from Ugreen this one's quite handy because it has both a USB-A and a USB-C end, which covers all bases. It supports both micro and full size SD cards. And I notice on the packaging that these products do seem to refer to micro SD as a TF card. TF stands for TransFlash, which is another name for a micro SD card. Now, before you jump on Amazon and start ordering all of these products, you might find it more helpful to find a single product that can do all of these things. Lenchin refer to this product as a multi-port adapter, and they have many of them. Which one you should buy depends really on what you want to connect. For example, I got this small adapter that simply has two USB 2 ports, one USB 3 port, and even a USB-C port. But this is where things get a little tricky because this port isn't really a USB-C port in the way that you might want it to be. It's not designed for plugging in devices or monitors. It's actually only there so that you can plug in a USB-C PD charger to pass through power to your device. Now we've done several videos on USB-C PD charging with Surface. I'll leave some links to those below. 
You can go and see the details on what PD charging is and find out what kind of charger or battery pack you need to charge your Surface Pro through that USB-C port. The trouble is that if you plug one of these docks or peripherals into that USB-C port on your Surface, you can't charge from it anymore. So the port here on this multi-port adapter allows you to plug your charger in and it passes the charge back through to your device. Just don't expect to plug in your memory stick or your monitor or a webcam into this one because it won't work. So this adapter is really good for just replacing those USB-A ports that you might be missing from your old Surface. So I got a slightly bigger adapter from Lenchin, a more expensive one that has a lot more ports. This one has four USB 3 ports. By the way, USB 3 ports can be identified by their blue tongue. They put out more power and pass through more data than the old USB 2 standard. You can identify a USB 2 port by its black or white tongue. This model even has two HDMI ports, so you can plug in two external displays using this adapter. It's almost becoming a dock rather than a multi-port adapter at this point. However, again, the USB-C port on this one is for passing through power only. Now I got another version that's specifically designed to attach onto both the USB-C and A ports of the Surface Pro 7. This one kind of acts like a side dock and it gives me a card reader and a HDMI connection. Kind of clever, but it'll only work with the Surface Pro 7 or 7 Plus. The USB-C port on this one does support USB-C peripherals, but not displays. Use the HDMI instead for a display if you're using this adapter. Now, there are several other variations of the Lynch and multi-port adapter that include memory card readers, Ethernet, VGA, or different port combinations. Check them out in the description below, but just remember to read the product details carefully to make sure that you're getting what you need. Apart from the Surface Pro 7 model, only one of the other multi-port adapters actually supports plugging in USB-C peripherals and passing them back through to your device. We'll label that device in the links below so you can find that and read up on the details easily. As I mentioned, all of the products that we got, including the ones from Lenchin, are really well packaged. They're good quality, they have good cable strain relief and good materials, and they're great value too. So in general, these multi-port adapters are really handy if you have one of those new Surface products that don't have any USB-A ports on board. If you're like me, you might want to keep one in your laptop bag or your travel kit, but I'd generally say that they don't replace a dedicated dock like the Surface Dock 2. Now there are USB-C docks that will work with your Surface though, and in a future episode we'll compare those to the Surface Dock 2. Two other things that'll be really handy in this new USB-C world are good quality USB-C cables that support both charging and display output. I've also found it very handy to have a USB-C extension cable in my drawer at times. And lastly, as you start buying newer USB-C devices, you might find it handy to have a USB-C to A adapter. Now that'll allow you to plug in many USB-C based devices back into an old school USB-A port. This would work for things like webcams, cameras and memory card readers that don't require the higher data transfer speeds and power throughput that USB-C offers. So we'll leave links to all of the products that we found on Amazon in the description below. All of the product links that we put in the description will use our Amazon affiliate ID and any purchases that you make using those links go to supporting this channel. In fact, we mostly use those commissions to buy products like the one that we used in this video so that we can check them out for you. We've got some big plans coming up for more product videos like this one here, so tell us what you need to know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Why not do it now? We don't just review products, we share weekly tips, and we delve into the science behind technology. For example, if you haven't seen it yet, you need to check out our Science Behind the Surface Pen series, and we'll leave a link to that in the description too. Holy moly, 25 minutes. Woo! Don't require higher data speed transfer spans. Come on. I even have a USB-C input so I can correctly. All right, that's going in the blue because I know it is. All right.